Hey, this is Dan Larson, and I'm just going to show you a couple videos about how to use Stata and sometimes regular expressions in Stata to take a messy name variable that might have a lot of information in it that's not really the name and to use that to separate out the first and the last name given a lot of different ways that these might be different from some standard formula. So I've already shown how to do this in Excel um, with a couple you know, extra bits of information, like sometimes it was last comma first and um, you would have maybe a state name or a, something in parentheses after that and I showed you how to take those off in Excel using the find function so here I'm going to show you how to do different things with some regular expressions and this is some code that I wrote a couple years ago to do this on a pretty messy data set of uh, newspaper entries so things came in all different non-standardized forms um, so sometimes we'll have people's estates sometimes we'll have people who have a trust and the trust says care of and then it will be a bank name and so that's all stuff that I don't want actually in my name variable I, if I'm gonna match this with another data set I just want to match on first and last name and so I'm gonna show you how to use some of these tricks to take out those things so the first thing is of course to replace the name with proper name and so I'm always gonna use manip name as my name variable here so what I also do is just generate a new variable called manip name from name and that way you know if I hit control s too soon or at the wrong time I don't overwrite everything and you know if I had forgotten to make a backup somewhere I'm not lost so use manip name here and then this regxm function just looks for the string that you name in the second argument inside the string you name in the first argument so if I ever see junior senior the third or the fourth inside a string I'm gonna replace it with a, I'm gonna generate a suffix variable and name that suffix variable junior senior the third or the fourth and then I'm just gonna delete those all from those strings I'm gonna do sub in string inside my name and if I ever see comma space junior or just regular junior I'm gonna delete them and just replace them with a blank string okay so of course it's important to do this uh, with the comma space first because if you don't do it with a comma space first if you do this this one first then uh, this one would actually find nothing and there might be some cases where you have this comma here that's going to be stranded so you'll have this comma that indicates nothing and it'll be just uh, wandering out there at the end of the string and it'll be distracting you from other things and messing some things up so do the comma space one first instead of just the regular unspaced okay now here I'm going to use the split command on manip name and the uh, parse option so you have to do the parse option pretty much um, unless you're just going to parse on a space so I'm going to split my nickname and if I ever see an estate and so oftentimes it'll say you know uh, Catherine T. Johnson comma estate of James Ford or something like that so then I want to take off that part of the string that comes after the word estate and I want to replace that with um, or I just want to take that off and throw it in a different variable that I'm going to call a state or something like that or manip name 2 um, and so what I've actually done here is I have this gen manip name 2 equals blank this is because I've actually already deleted all the estates from the data set that I'm going to run this on so in order to not have a thousand errors I just need to generate a blank string called manip name 2 uh, if you didn't ha um, already delete all your estates then you would have to uncomment this or sorry you would have to comment that out so as to not overwrite my nickname too with a blank string so I'm gonna leave it there because when I run it uh, I'm not gonna have any estates but what this would do is it would find any estate and then take the part before estate and call that my nickname one uh, and anything after a state within the string or EST period would be my nickname two and so that's why this in my case would be there would be no my nickname two and so all this replace and and I call my nickname two farther down it would just be a bunch of errors because there are no estates left in this data set. Anyway, um, there's also a gen option where I could say gen uh, EST or something, and then it would name the parts of the string EST1 and EST2. Whatever you put in gen, it would end with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or whatever. Every time it found that string, it would create a new variable. So, uh, you know, if there were like, if there were seven mentions of the word estate or EST in the string, then it would make eight sections because it would be one before all of them, one after all of them, and then the other six in between the seven instances of the thing. Okay. So then what I do here is I, you know, replace my nickname with the trim, and then um, 
I basically reconstitute a state with um, what had appeared in Manipinate 2, and I add the word a state at the beginning. Because when you parse, it's not actually going to count your parsing character in either side of the parsing. Okay, and then I am going to do this operation pretty commonly where I drop manip name and then rename the first part of the parse string from before, from the split, as my new variable manip name. So I'm just going to be whittling away at various layers of things that come at the end of the strings, and I'm going to just keep whittling away and renaming those first parts as the new variable manip name and then working on that. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up and I'm going to pick up in a second, walk through some of the rest of this.